nerds and nerdettes and we little nerd things all. It's your buddy, Big John and G, the two gun fix it presents Legendary Gaming. for today because this is the day that I like to shout that out. <laughs> I shout it out enough, don't I? <laughs> but as you know, this is the first Monday of the month. And on the first Monday of the month, I like to give a shout out to all of you so you know what's going on here. That's right. As far as I know, I am the only and have been the only YouTube channel that actually tells its viewers not only what's going to happen for the week, because you check out the, the, the Facebook page for Two Gun Pixie or the Twitter uh, page for us, you're going to see our weekly list every Monday morning. Morning by Eastern Standard Time. But here, the first Monday of every month, I give a shout out to all of you about what's going to happen for the entire month. No other YouTube channel does either of those two things. So thank you. Thank you for supporting us. And please continue to watch. <laughs> but for right now, my friends, why don't we get down to the table so I can tell you all what's going on and we can say, What's up, February? <laughs> So let's start off on Mondays. I know technically the week starts on Sunday, but I always felt like that's the end. That's the way I feel. So let's start off with Mondays, here as I often do. And I'll tell you right now that I got a couple coming up that I'm very interested in, and you might be as well. I have a Midday Monologue Monday, which I simply titled, Why I Won't Back Your Kickstarter. Is it personal? Yes. But maybe there'll be some points that that you'll find uh, interesting and agree with as well. Now, I've been having a lot of fun covering my youth. I have done some videos on Gen X gaming and games that have been inspired by, or games that can be inspired by, some great Gen X pop culture stuff. I'm kind of continuing that because I did have a really deep thought about particular games from my youth and where they've gone, and why they're not here anymore, and which ones I'd like to see come back. So you might find that interesting, because I did. <laughs> and then we're going to end off, we're going to end off this month, as we always do every month, with viewer comments being addressed. Now, uh, I've already uh, done double addressings uh, this month. Actually, I'm not sure how it worked out. Future Big Johnny G will have to discover this himself. But either I have just done a live viewer comment section, or uh, it's being recorded, and there's going to be yet another one next week on top. I'm not sure it's going to go one way or the other. But there's been so many viewer comments coming in. Uh, I've been wanting to address so many of them. I'd like to do it on camera because you get to see my, my inflections. You get to hear my tone. You get to read my body language. That's so much better, I think, than just reading the cold text words. But a lot of times, one doesn't even know what's emotionally uh, being meant, you know, by what's being said. So please join me and, and we'll do this face-to-face, -face, so to speak. <laughs> but that's the way Mondays are looking. Now, I got some stuff planned for Tuesdays. Tuesdays. This is, whereas, you know, I, I typically give you points about why I like a game, or maybe I do a close-up zoom-in on a particular villain. And I've been centered thus far on the villains in the Marvel Champions game. Uh, and that is being continued here because we're going to do a deep dive into the Absorbing Man and everything you're going to expect going up and facing this formidable opponent of the Avengers. Now, uh, there's another game 
that I've really enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed the, 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 the original version of it, the standalone standalone sequel <laughs> where did that come from the standalone sequel i've really been enjoying so I, I got some points of interest of why i enjoy specter ops broken covenant and i, I want to discuss that with all of you and uh finally there's a game that me and the wife have played and we've really enjoyed it especially with our non-gaming friends uh over the years and i think it's time why not? Then I address it. I do like the game. So why don't I tell you why I like Exploding Kittens? <laughs> it's a fun party game. And like I said, it really seems to take off with non-gamers. So hey, even better. <laughs> and that's going to lead us into our unboxings. There are so many great games uh, that have been coming in that we've been collecting here at Two Gun Pixie and building up our unboxing collection for. Uh, it's sometimes hard to know where exactly to start and what to throw into the mix and when. But as of right now, what it looks like, you can expect uh, at least one more unboxing by Victory Point Games. I'm kind of excited about that. There's uh, Revensburger. We're going to have uh, an unboxing by that that I've really been waiting uh with baited anticipation to bring towards the camera. And uh, finally, I'm looking at a Kickstarter coming in by Gamelin Games. Hmm. So that could be in tomorrow. That could be in, in two weeks. <laughs> but it's on the road. It's on the road. So it'll be here. It'll be here shortly. Probably won't take two weeks. Uh, so that's going to be showcased as well. I'm really excited about these games, showing them off, getting to uh, do the, the unboxings for them, and eventually you know that there'll be some playthroughs, uh, some slideshow gamings, maybe even a how-to play. Uh, it's always very exciting uh, to figure out how and when I'm going to show off uh, games, and I uh, just love showcasing them here. So this is the start. The unboxings are the start. <laughs> Now, Thursdays, as you know, is a beautiful hodgepodge of concepts that I just uh, don't have time for. Yeah, I would love to be able to do a uh, how-to play every week. I'd like to do a gaming radar every week. Uh, I'd like to do so many of the, of the shows that I do on Thursday, but there's not enough time, well, to record and edit all these. There's not enough time in the week to put them all in a weekly schedule. So Thursdays are our beautiful hodgepodge. And uh, I know I have a gaming radar coming up, and this is for a Ravensburger game, and I've been waiting to talk about this. This is really exciting, really fun, and uh, I'm, I just can't wait to present it to you. <laughs> now, uh, besides that, there's gonna be a Big Johnny G's How to Play this month. I've been trying to get back on track with those. I hope you've been enjoying them. And uh, this one coming up uh, is a little bit of a surprise. And uh, I, I really hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and finally, there's going to be some more free gaming music. Uh, styles of music that you can play in the background while you're gaming. Uh, Role-playing games, board games, card games, dice games. You'll find the right game to match up with the music. And I like to bring this to everyone because having the right background music when you're playing a game sometimes is just that little bit of, of subtle influence that's going to bring it to life a little more sometimes. Now, as our regular viewers know, we enjoy bringing live programming on Friday and Saturday nights that involves some awesome gaming as some legendary tabletop adventures, for sure. And we have some great ones coming up for the rest of this month. And, uh, you know, honestly, I looked at the list and I didn't realize what I did. Now, yes, I had a lot of fun uh, the other night playing the Way of the Samurai game. Had a little bit of a grudge match with that. Uh, go check it out. Uh, it was an excellent game, by the way. Uh, but other than that, I noticed that every other game that I picked to play live this month all fantasy based games so uh without even thinking about it with the exception of the of the game friday night this has been fantasy february as far as gaming goes so let's take a look at which ones i've picked that i want to play and share the playthroughs with you for this month now i know there's a game that i've been wanting to get to the table for a while uh because it's been a while since i've played it and it is a lot of fun. It's a nice, fast, quick fun. And uh, that game is called Dungeon Brawler. 
And this was a Kickstart game I got a couple of years ago, and it always brings some fun to the table. <laughs> now, besides that, uh, there's another Kickstarter I got a while back, and I did a few videos already, and I, it's time. I'm feeling like playing it again, and that's Adventure of D. That game always brings me some fun. I like that exploration-style game that it has. Now, a classic game, and I'm not sure which I'm going to do, because I have two versions of this. I want to play Dungeon. It's been a while. I want to play Dungeon. You know, like that Dungeon. There's the original one, and can you see, uh, then I have like the 2014 or something version of it right over there. And uh, I, I always want to play one. And, uh, you know, soloing it just to see, uh, you know, set a, a certain amount of gold that you need to uh, to grab uh, before you get to the exit. And there's, in, in the re, in the rewrite of it, there's, oh, sorry, in the rewrite of it, there are some good options to boost things up, like the monsters hunting you uh, more, more ferociously. Uh, and I incorporated some of those last time, and it was a lot of fun. I want to do that again. So join me as I go exploring at the dungeon. Tiny Epic Dungeons! Speaking of dungeons, we'll be here. It's on the road. Ha! Ah, it's on the road. And uh, I just can't wait to get it here. I've been waiting for this. The first Tiny Epic game that actually has miniatures. Ooh. But that's not the only reason. The game uh, you know, comes from a company that has a good track record. I enjoy, to some degree, all the Tiny Epic games. Most of them to a fairly good degree. So I'm really looking forward to this, and I hope you are too, because I want to showcase it. <laughs> now, there's another game that I got from Kickstarter. I did the unboxing for it, and uh, other things happened, and it just fell to the wayside for a moment there as far as gaming goes. But Mini Quest Adventure is a, is a, is a gaming book, map book. And every time you turn the pages, a new map that you're going to be playing on. Uh, and I, I've been wanting to try this out and haven't played one of these spiral bound game books yet So this is gonna be a first so that's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you join me for that uh, first time playthrough uh, and uh, Also, I, I want to get back to d, &D. Now until I get salt marsh, I've run my ragtag team of, of rogues through through all of the all the boxes so I think it's time for something else, something new. And I am going to put together a cleric and paladin team to take on Castle Ravenloft. Woo! That's going to be nice. I know you know that's going to be nice. So those are the live playthroughs that you can expect to see here on Two Gun Fixing uh, this month. And don't forget, on Sundays, I like to do a, a, a musical slideshow, showing you off further showcasing a game that I really enjoy. So thank you very much, my friends. That's everything that's going on for Two Gun Fixie for this month. Remember, we're the only channel that does this. No other channel gives you a weekly update in advance what's going on like I do. And nobody, nobody gives you a monthly update. Because they don't know what they're doing. We know what we're doing over here. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you very much. I'm your buddy, Big John and G for Two Gun Fixie Presents. <laughs> Legendary Gaming and I am out of here. So excited to get back to uh, some of the questions and comments that we've been leaving. Um, no, actually. Just did that. <laughs> oh, that's really like three more to film after this. All right. Uh, woo. <laughs> Good. I'm one video ahead than I thought I was. <laughs> Ready? <laughs>